sights. Villa Park, a famous semi-final stadium. And two infectious characters in this match used to play their club football here. Steve Foster, a semi-finalist with Brighton two years ago, knows his chance of leading Luton out at Wembley could depend on how he suppresses Andy Gray. Like Foster, back from injury today and scorer of nine goals in his last ten games. Luton Town in white, playing from right to left in the first half. Sunshine now after showers previously. Here's Breaker. Ricky Hill. Number 11 is Parker. Breaker goes forward straight away from right back. Came off Vanden Howe. Turner. Trying to find Steen. Bit of a shove, was it by Steen? Apparently not. Referee was happy. He held off Gary Stevens there, did Steen. By Jovi. He's trying to take them on. Harford. And what Jovi's in here. He's still in. Oh, blocked by Gary Stevens, nearly on the line. Joby can't believe it. He was past the goalkeeper. And Stevens saves Everton. Now Kendall, Everton manager, and Sir John Moores alongside him. Reed. Stephen. Sharp. Donaghy. And Bracewell beat Hill. And here's Sheedy. Gray's unmarked on the far side. Appealing to Sheedy to cross it. He had his hands in the air, Andy Gray. Here's Turner. Steen. Turner again. Rajovi! Three times now he's been close. A good cross from Wayne Turner. Rajovi with the header and Southall with the save. But when Luton look back on the first half, three opportunities of one sort or another have come the way of Mecca Nwajobi. Steen. Hill. Looks for Parker. Harford's there. And here's Hill. Then to Steen, actually, for holding one of the defenders off. But when it came out to Ricky Hill, that shot was unstoppable. And Sharp's flick. And Steven didn't... Yes, he did. And a good save by Seeley. Sharp flicked it on. Steven with the shot. And Seeley had to get down to make a good one-handed save. goes for half time with the favourites a goal down but close to an equaliser Sheedy Sharp foul by Foster he's walking a bit of a tightrope again Steve Foster with disciplinary points although not many of them since he's been with Luton Mountfield is forward for the kick. That was Mountfield, and that's Sheedy, and here's Bracewell. He hit the post. A fine effort by Paul Bracewell. Howard Kendall, who was beaten on this ground as a player in a semi-final back in 1969 against Manchester City, when with Everton. He's come down to the bench for the second half. Here's Hill. Oh, nicely round Ratcliffe. And the break on the right for Luton is by Gary Parker. Steen's in the centre and there are others joining him. 
still Parker and Harford and it's Hill again good save by Southall a terrific stop when Ricky Hill threatened to get his second goal Southall going down to his left made a magnificent save to keep it out Jovi Hill oh he's fouled by Ratcliffe referee played an advantage which may or may not accrue thanks to Turner it oh. uh, a bit unlucky there Luke and the free kick should really have gone the other way but he thought they had possession and then Turner conceded one five minutes to go Harford and Foster are up together and they've been penalised. Now Everton have got a chance to produce something here five minutes from the end, and it was five minutes from the end that they equalised against Ipswich, remember? Or thereabouts. Is Sheedy going to curl one? He drove one. It's there! Sheedy! Everton have equalised! Just under five minutes from the end. the kick what a volley by Gary Stevens. the bench thought that was going in well the relief down there must be enormous and they could have won it then extra time in the semi-final but if one feels Everton finished the 90 minutes on a high one also has to say that they did play a midweek match in Munich and if it's a question of who's got the legs well Luton may feel their fitness is at least equal if not superior we shall see Bracewell wide to Sheedy Bracewell again and how good run by the left back great run and gray off the line now donaghy makes the clearance that keeps luton in it and then how the last minute of the first period of extra time gray looks dangerous again reed is coming in it's reed great save by Sealy. that they'll appreciate. The Luton midfield just hasn't got hold of the game since Everton scored. This is Reed. He has. Foul by Steen. So, four minutes from the end of extra time, Everton have another free kick. Sheedy curls it, Mount Bill's there, and it's a goal! Derek Mountfield! And the free kick does the trick again, and Everton, the holders, are in front for the first time. Kevin 
Sheedy curled the kick. Derek Mountfield came in for the header. It's his tenth goal of the season, the big centre half. And it's by far the sweetest for him and for the Evertonians. And look at this celebration. And look at that disappointment. Well, Vanden Howe to Gray, and there it is. Everton are through to their second successive FA Cup final. The holders come from behind to win in extra time, thanks to Derek Mountfield's goal. 21 games unbeaten now, still chasing the treble. Everton at the end of a hard week can celebrate again.